Madam Chief Justice and members of the Council, it's a pleasure to see so many happy and familiar faces. <laughs> I have the privilege of having been appointed to the bench in 1987. Inexplicably then, the calendar seems to dictate that I have been a judge for 25 years. Now I don't claim that that quarter of a century has conferred upon me any encyclopedic wisdom, but it has given me a certain sense of perspective. And it seems to me that perspective is greatly needed as we move forward to lead the branch together. The California judiciary is one of the best in the world, and yet it is no secret that we, like the state and the people we serve, are facing some substantial challenges. History tells us that when big challenges arise, people become anxious and sometimes angry. And we know that in times such as those, the people need reasonable, sound, wise leaders in whom they can repose confidence. It is, of course, the responsibility of the Chief Justice and the Council, but more broadly, all the judges of California, to provide that leadership. The process the Chief Justice has initiated has done its work diligently, independently, and with broad input. Everybody in the branch had a chance to voice their concerns and their frustrations. Everybody had a chance to make recommendations and offer suggestions. Now that process hasn't been easy, and it certainly hasn't been fun. And as with all difficult and important undertakings, it has not been without some controversy and some acrimony. Reasonable minds may certainly differ on many things, but now you have a candid and clear report on branch governance. And while reasonable minds may differ, that informs us why we need to look at those recommendations with analysis and review. But broadly, broadly, we have looked backwards and we have identified a number of substantial failings and some things that must be changed. I suggest to you, ladies and gentlemen, however, that it is now time to stop looking backwards and start looking forwards to determine how to make constructive progress. And this is where the concept of perspective comes in. The report rightfully faults some past decision making as lacking in deliberation and cooperation. Fair enough. But let's not repeat those shortcomings. Let's make sure that we do deliberate about the findings and recommendations and do so as part of an ongoing dialogue. One major theme of the report is the need for openness, transparency, and cooperation. Let us remember that each of those laudable goals is a two-way street. There may be some who insist, who insist that you listen to them and them alone, that only their views have merit. Some may act in the glow of self-interest. Some may speak in the heat of intempered zeal and dissatisfaction. And this is, of course, their right. But I suggest that today we should agree to turn a page. We can learn from our history, but we cannot change it. And while we cannot change our history, we must and pardon me, we must and can responsibly guide our future. Now, we can continue to look backward, to focus on blame, and to nurse our grudges. Sometimes it seems that that's what we do best. We can talk at each other rather than speak with each other. Or we can take a deep breath, remember that we are professionals entrusted with substantial responsibilities, and resolve to work together as partners rather than fight as adversaries, to reason rather than demand, and to discern rather than dictate. The report you have received makes a number of suggestions. But perhaps our greatest challenge is to work together to see that mutual cooperation and confidence is restored and built upon. This is a collective and mutual process. That is not to say that we will not sometimes disagree. Bright, insightful people of goodwill do on occasion, and sometimes on more than occasional instances, disagree. But often the best ideas flow from their ongoing discussions about their divergent views. 
recognizing all of this, we should commit ourselves to be what we have been trained to be, decisive, informed, deliberate, and smart decision makers who honestly work together to find solutions in the spirit of cooperation. As we turn this page, we have a new chief. We have a new council. We will have a restructured administrative office under a new leader. Much remains and new challenges will, of course, arise. We can meet them if all parts of the branch watch closely, share openly, discuss collegially, and work together to serve the people of California from whom we should be mindful our authority derives. Thank you, Chief. Thank you, Justice Corrigan. Thanks,